Hi, I'm Cherry from Church Robinson and we're here today to have a look at this four slash five bedroom semi-detached house on Synodon Road, the old part of Tintacon. So here we are having just walked into the property and what's really lovely is the fact that as you come on in you've got this beautiful, big and very, very light entrance. So perfect for families where you've got room and space for the pram but more so it sets you up for the rest of the accommodation in terms of an idea of what size of rooms we've got yet to come. So we have got a door just on camera now, leading off to the left, where you can go in towards the sitting room. It's currently blocked off from the other side with a sofa. So today we're going to be going straight ahead in towards the kitchen diner. Just as we go in towards the kitchen, just to show you underneath the stairs, so currently open, I'll deal with the storage, but you could always close off if needs be. And then just looking back towards where we've walked into the property. So, a true delight as a heart of a house. So you've got this lovely, very modern, high gloss kitchen with plenty of drawers and cupboard space. And we have got room as well at the far side, which we'll look into in a second. But a nice big window looking on out. And as I said, a really lovely kitchen to come straight on into. Quite a showstopper. So going in towards the utility area, so a nice big room, plenty of space to do the laundry and then also ironing thereafter. We've got a window here as well to let some light and a breeze into the space. And then we also have two rooms leading off, both of which are semi-equal within size. So with the property, you've got three bedrooms upstairs and an additional accommodation downstairs. So currently used as a bedroom, but obviously can be used as a multifunctional room if required. You've got wood slatted storage space here, and then you've also got two windows looking through towards the covered lean-to area. But a nice sized room with double bed in here. So here we are at the top of the landing, having just walked up the straight stairs from the hallway. Now again, like with a downstairs hallway, you're greeted with a really good sized landing area. And you've got the window as well, so lots of light coming on in. So upstairs we have got three bedrooms. And first of all, we come in towards the smallest of them. So a very pleasant sized room, currently set up with cot bed, but more than enough space for a single or even a double water push. And then we also have wardrobes within. Got nice new carpets throughout along with neutral tones and then going in towards the master bedroom. So this is a king size suite that we have in here. So just showing the floor space, plenty of room to manoeuvre around the bed and please also take note of the fact that there's quite bulky furniture in here so it goes to show what you can fit roughly within the bedroom but certainly the usual king size bed as I mentioned, bedside tables, wardrobes and so forth. So we're front aspects now so you get a little bit more view onto the street so it's a nice mature residence which is lovely. Quite high windows in here as well so it's good from a privacy perspective. And just going back out now into the hallway and then going round towards the middle bedroom. So like with a master, this is also a king size bedroom. And in here, it's quite a nice feature to have. We've got the two windows, it's a little bit of character. And then just tucked behind the door, you can see two further doors, which leads purely in towards wardrobes and storage space. It's a really lovely room. And what's quite nice as well is the fact that at this part of the property, we have also got a view towards the garden. A nice long garden of which we'll have a look at later on in the tour. So again just looking at the bed and seeing floor space around so plenty of room and looking back now to the other direction from where we were and you can see where we came up the stairs. So finishing off the tour internally we come to the upstairs family bathroom so as previously mentioned, we have got the downstairs shower room and then the upstairs bathroom. So it's nice that you've got one of each within the property. Good as well that you've got the window. It was nice within the older properties for the fact that they have the windows in the wash areas. And quite plain to see that we've got space for the WC 
and then also for the hand basin as well with radiator just tucked behind the door off camera. But otherwise starting back where we were to begin with in the corner just looking back at the bedrooms and then also down towards the stairwell. So finally off of the dining area we have got two doors here double of which open out onto this covered area so you've got the clear roof and it's just a useful space on days like today when it's still quite muggy but obviously it has started to rain it's a little bit overcast you can sit in here and have a breeze overflow as well you've got electricity that you can just see it's an overflow area for the tumble dryer and then also fridge freezer and such apparatus so here we are in the west facing garden and what's lovely with the older residents within Didcot is the fact that we have got these beautiful long gardens which are perfect when it comes to home allotments and children running wild which is lovely uh, now there are some sheds at the bottom of the garden they are in need of some TLC and some repair we've got one of the sheds two in fact where actually the roofs have dropped in um, but the rest of the structure seems pretty sound it'll be a case of new roofs but I was looking back on the property now and we can see to the left of the rendered areas where the side access is leading back around to the front of the property and then otherwise as an area goes like I mentioned a really nice big garden um, which is what's so ideal about living in the older parts of Didcot very level as well so nice and safe and plenty of room subject to planning should you wish to extend further